Let me start reevaluating this a little bit. This is now really difficult. Okay, because now we're getting into cutting time. Yeah, I'd say remake is close to like, you know, top 30, top 25, but we're not really worried about that right now. Here's where I got to start like moving some stuff. Let's focus on these top two rows up here, right? Focus on these top two rows. Put number one where it should be. Final Fantasy VII is number one. Let's put number two where two should be. Bloodborne is number two. Fighting games though, Third Strike is number two. <laughs> and there's where if I take in con into consideration fighting games into like a top 10 situation, that sadly bumps out Bloodborne. And if there's also fighting games in this list, holy moly, this is really hard. You know why? Because guess where my brain goes for number four? Crazy monkey brain goes for my number four favorite game of all time. Oh shit, yeah. That's where my crazy monkey brain goes, dude. Hey, what are you? What is what is the fiber of your nebulous being? Yeah, that's Final Fantasy VII, Third Strike, Bloodborne, and PSO. <laughs> and then what comes after that? Killer Instinct, brother! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, shit! So it's like normal game, fighting game, a uh, couple of normal games, fighting game, monkey brain kicking in. And now the big question, and this is a tough one, dude. Which is better? Metal Gear Solid or Resident Evil 4? I hate this shit. Being the product of two divorced parents and having to choose between your mom and dad. This is bullshit, dude. No one should have to do this. It's RE4. Yeah, there we go. I had to think about it a little bit. It's RE4. Metal Gear Solid is truly incredible, but RE4 is more a, a, a more fun game. Metal Gear Solid is incredible for what it is. It's a cinematic game where you don't have many cinematic games. It was the beginning of cinematic games, right? In terms of like raw gameplay and what it is, it never was something that really lined up with me because it was the beginning of stealth games, right? But it was like one of the first big stealth games there kind of ever was, so you, you sort of appreciate about it. It was a sandbox game where it's like you can make anything happen in this shit. You can fuck around with the guards and do all this crazy shit, put C4 on his back, you yada 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 all this crazy stuff and i do appreciate that about it but re4 is incredible I, it has almost no flaws at least in metal gear solid i think about revisiting it now and i think i should how many goddamn times have i played re4 on this stream i have never played through metal gear solid on this stream maybe we'll see i think with my current perspective re4 takes it over metal gear solid one but that's really difficult man tactics goes down quite a bit i think we can pull tactics like down to here but what should i replace tactics with that seems fair. FF7 Remake top top two. I'm even considering if FF7 Remake's gonna make it to top 25. Now, RE4 Remake doesn't make the list in total. And there's a lot of fighting games up here, bruh. That starts to make sense that if I'm doing a top personal list that includes fighting games, that a lot of fucking fighting games are up here. Where would RE2 Original go? RE2 Original easily makes it into like top 20 or some shit. And then FF, to be, to be real, FF7 Remake definitely gets bumped up here quite a bit as well. Why do you prefer originals to remakes? Uh, because of the impact of the time, like what that game was when it came out, incredibly valuable. If you weren't there at the time, it's like then obviously RE4 Remake would be better than RE4, but were you alive in 2005 when RE4 came out? RE4 Remake is probably better than RE4 Classic, for sure. I was there when RE4 came out and it it felt like we were living in the future. I think Mega Man 2 edges it out just a little bit. We're not worried about like 25 right now. I'm looking at just 20. Oh, here's the problem with Monster Hunter World is that FF11 would be up here ahead of it. I'd probably put Soul Calibur 2 ahead of Tekken 3 and I'd put MVC 1 ahead of both Soul Calibur and Tekken. But I would say that I think Killer Instinct of all like the modern fighting games, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, there's two killer instincts up here, bro. Returnal, I don't think is in top 20 either. I can't in good faith put Returnal ahead of Sega Racing Classics. I'd put Monster Hunter ahead of Tactics. Crazy Taxi goes ahead of Returnal, just in general. I think I'm actually getting rid of Street Fighter 2. I don't think as time has gone on that Street Fighter 2 is clearly a game that has an impact on everybody, right? And is massive, but I feel like I have grown past it would not be up here anymore i don't think i'm gonna take it out of this list it would just get bumped down call of duty's up here eh, i don't think that's actually weird cod 4 modern warfare 2 these games were incredible man yeah these are not really in a great order down here but i will say i will say 
my top 15 is looking pretty decent. But it also starts with Final Fantasy VII and ends with Final Fantasy VII. So let's just go over this again. Let me see how I feel about it. Number one, FF7. Number two, Third Strike. Number three, Bloodborne. Number four, PSO. Number five, KI on SNES. RE4, Metal Gear Solid, Mega Man fucking 2, Panzer Dragon 2 Zvi, which is going to be a weird one because a lot of people probably don't know of this game, but I, you know, it's truly special to me. Killer Instinct 2013 and all of its versions. Marvel versus Capcom, Soul Calibur 2, Tekken 3. Oh, okay, this is the this is a weird one. I'm having a tough time thinking if Final Fantasy 11 I mean, it took over my life. Yeah, it's essentially my Square Enix PSO. However, I would not have gotten into FF11 if Fantasy Star Online did not leave a giant gap. That's sort of the comparative I have. It's a great game. I, and I, I think FF11 is truly like, stands like the test of time. What it is will never exist again. But to me, like PS, the only reason I jumped into FF11 is because I was looking for the evolution from PSO. But I don't think that deters from the experience. And I think I am way more comfortable with this game making it into this spot of the list than FF11 and my top 15. Yeah, I think I like that more. I think if I have a top 15 games of all time and Dance Dance Revolution isn't up there for being around DDR in like the 90s, like the late 90s, early 2000s and growing up with that, that game was a huge part of my life for like a solid three years. It took it took only three years to get like five versions. So I got to give it a get up. Dance Dance Revolution easily is in my top 15. What, what do I feel about any of these? I absolutely have a huge 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 raging love interest for sega racing games they're they're all up here i don't know if they're in any specific order in fact i'd probably put house of the dead ahead of it i'd probably put initial d ahead of sega rally to a certain degree outrun might be a bit lower just in general cods are pretty close i put modern warfare 2 edges out cod 4 to a certain degree initial d kind of represents initial d stage one two and three but yeah like i hold crazy taxi in a really high regard i put house of the dead ahead of call of duty technically daytona usa ahead of it too i changed my mind initial d initial d is technically the last one i put more time into this but i don't think it it grabbed me nearly as much final fantasy 11 is that high yeah it's in it's number 16 for me this is feeling about right. I'd say my top 25 is a bit disjointed. This I'd really have to put some more thought into. This would take some time. What you have here is my, I, I, I got a pretty confident, solid top 15. And then if we, if we zoom out this list, uh, we have something closer to like a top 50 and five more uh, just thrown in there for the heck of it. There's my top 15 games of all time, chat. My top 15 games of all time. FF7 Remake, uh, starting from the bottom, FF7 Remake, DDR, Tekken 3, Soul Calibur 2, NBC 1, Killer Instinct 2013, PD2, Mega Man 2, Metal Gear Solid, RE4, KI Classic, PSO, Bloodborne, Third Strike, FF7, and yeah, dude, my what are my top three games of all time? Final Fantasy 7, Third Strike, and Bloodborne. I feel great about that shit, man.